Hello everyone, E-Dirt here. I decided to show you a project I've been working on. It's not quite done, but it's a hidden door using Etho's bud switch. Again, I'll put a link to his video in the description. And so when you place a torch, redstone, or regular on that block, It'll set off the bud switch. And then open up this door. And then to get out, I just have a button. And so this side's power. This sign's powered underneath the those two torches are powering the bottom two pistons in this stack. Um and then this is actually powering the top two and the middle two pistons. since it's diagonal from the middle once once those open or close the middle ones will also and so I just make sure I got it lined up right yeah you just place your torch right over here and it broke Just my luck. When I'm filming it, I managed to break it. Place a torch. You could break it or leave it. Same difference. And again, to get out, press the button. I'll open up. Now I have another secret door. Somewhere in here. Where could it be? In the floor. And I get out this button. Pretty neat. Someone, th someone thinks they got into your base. Hidden passageway. And so... Oh wait. I wanted to go like here. I'm going to show you the wiring. So, the first step is turning off all these pistons. So that's done by sending power to all these blocks. I had to do some weird wiring. Redstone seems to be glitching out for me. Like, sometimes it will just randomly stay powered. And so I had to, like, bring it down because if it was right there, it would keep power, it was weird. And then the second step is turning off the two sides. Like that. And then the third step is... This is where it got complicated. Because you need to piss, push this piston out and then push both of these pistons out and then you had to turn off this one and this one no you had to turn off this one and this one and then you had to turn off this one then you had to turn this one on and then off and so there was a lot of wiring involved because basically 
there's an RS nor latch so that the stairs stay out and then it just resets itself after a delay but first the power goes to here and here since th this powers those two blocks it powers this one and this one and so it doesn't matter that these are powered first in fact you need them to be powered first because you need those to turn off first and so the it powers this block but since the piston isn't there it doesn't get moved because I'm pretty sure power doesn't go through stairs but these two pistons extend and then since this one gets pushed here it extends and then it also sends a pulser through my little pulse device which I think I showed you um, in my door trap video and so that one comes down here and goes down around to this one and that one right there and so after this one turns off and this one turns off it will flick on and off to pull those stairs I just set off the butt switch those turn off these turn off and then almost immediately these flick the timing works out almost perfectly I'll show you one more time it goes down, those goes out, those go out that one comes in, these come in, that goes out really quickly cover this up and so I try to hide as much wiring as I can and so when from the surface here and from outside for the two secret doors you can't see any wiring or any pistons from the inside it can't be helped well, you just push the button stairs pop out you do have to jump right there but I think it's better than having to jump up three steps and I have another project going on down here but I just found something out which was really annoying so far all I have is that but ideally what what will happen is in that time this one will get pulled back one more and then it will flick on and off and pull this block back and then these pistons I may need to increase the delay it's, the other stuff stays open I just kind of the delay to show gets pulled back so that this piston and the block are in front of these pistons and these pistons would extend and grab them and then I would have a line of pistons that would extend out and grab the glowstone and move it out of the way and then it would put it back and retract and then those would push out and then um, this piston would get pushed back into place and then open and then these could retract it will require a lot of timing and haven't really had very much time to work on it and so so far that's all I have and so far you know you I don't have a way to get back on this side yet but you can hide almost all you can hide everything from when it's closed. You can hide everything when it's closed.
And so, I'll work on this and... I'll, I'll try and get it working all the way. But for now, that's all I have. And, you know, again, get out, push the button. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe so you can see more of my videos. And it's time for me to say bye bye. Oh, one more thing I wanted to add just at the end. My idea would be have this kind of set up so it looks like a regular base and then add on my door trap which as you can see I put a building around it I just wanted to you know hide the wires and then I decided to uh, uh, get creative but you know my idea is have this lead into what looks just like a rectangular structure You know, and so, if someone walks up from either way, it, it was designed this way, but it works either way. You know, just, you know, if this side just hooks straight up to the rectangle, you know, on this side of the rectangle, if it just hooked up right there, they die through the trap, but the actual way to get through would be through the secret entrance. And so now I think I'm done. Again, thanks for watching. Like, comment, rate, subscribe, all that good stuff. Time for me to say bye.